You have Facebook open, you're probably gonna get in trouble. You have Instagram open on your phone, probably gonna get in trouble. But LinkedIn, you can have it open because it's a professional social media platform. Thank you once again for joining us for Coach on the Clock. I'm actually joined with, by Addie with New Hue Visual Pros. She's uh, joining us for the second time uh, this uh, season. Had such a great time with her last time. And <laughs> once again, she has decided to step in when I asked for, um, who do we have that's really growing their businesses on LinkedIn? And uh, every realtor that I asked said, not me so much. <laughs> and then when I did find one, they said, hey, I'll actually get you my coach. So Addie, here we are. Um, for those of you who have not joined us in the past, let me just quickly give you the rules once again. This is 15 minutes of coaching by an expert on a particular topic. We run it just like the Denver Broncos fourth quarter, no timeouts. We get a two minute warning and then that's it. At the end of 15 minutes, we are done. So Addie, thanks for joining us once again. Thank you. Um, and thanks for talking about LinkedIn. Yeah. I'm uh, growing your business on LinkedIn. A lot of people have um, talked about using Instagram. We've done section, we've done um, programming on Facebook. We've done programming on TikTok, but not LinkedIn. This um, is the missing, the missing, the missing link. link. Yeah. yeah, no pun intended, but there we are. <laughs> um, so a lot of realtors have said that um, they, um, that anytime that they really connected on LinkedIn, that what it really seems to them is they just get a bunch of recruiting, right? Calling them. Uh, but I know that some people have really been able to build their business mm -hmm. using LinkedIn. 100%. So a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Tell me yeah. what makes you say that? Well, I, I, I want to first say that it is inevitable that you're going to get those like kind of spammy, um, pitches and wanting your business, you know, that's inevitable. I thought I always look past that, right? Like it doesn't really matter. It's kind of like those phone calls you get for your cars to send a warranty. Like it's just, it's just part of the game, right? It's like, that's just what happens. But having LinkedIn is an underutilized platform. And what I tell all my clients is use everything that's free to you. So Instagram's free. Maybe you're using it. Facebook's free. You're probably using that. YouTube is free. Are you using LinkedIn? Because if you're not, you're doing yourself a disservice because everything you have is free to you. Sure, there's paid options, but there is free and you can get so much out of it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I get that. Um, are there specific types of customers that you find that are perhaps a little bit easier to connect with on the LinkedIn platform than maybe some of the yeah. other platforms? Well, I... Um, okay, so I've been doing marketing for about a decade now, all kinds of marketing, email marketing, social media marketing, video marketing. But one of the things that I've always kept in my mind is from my mentor, and he's been in marketing for a long time, is that LinkedIn is the work acceptable social media. So anyone in corporate America or at a nine to five job, you have Facebook open, you're probably going to get in trouble. You have Instagram open on your phone, probably going to get in trouble. But LinkedIn you can have it open because it's a professional social media platform. So what you're doing by having your, like if you're present on LinkedIn, you can capitalize on those people in the professional industry from nine to five that you probably would have a hard time hitting, right? Instagram, you have a very small window of people on their breaks or their lunch break or after mm -hmm. work hours. But LinkedIn, you've got this like, it's like a runway, basically. You've got all this space where you can reach potential clients. And the best part about it in real estate is this is a professional <laughs> platform. So these people probably have jobs and which means they could buy a house. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned that to me mm -hmm. and I tell you, a light bulb went off. <laughs> I was like, man, that is just genius <laughs> because I mean, how many times do we get calls from people? Yeah. And, um, unfortunately you love to help people, but yeah, they help everyone. Yeah. You do, you do. But the bottom line is um, it really does help if they can afford the product that you have to sell. Right. And people with jobs generally have a better chance than people that are unemployed. Right. Right. So when you said that, I thought, oh, my God, that I am like, a, like, right. you made me a reformed 
uh, LinkedIn yeah. uh, poster. Like, I, like right then and there. That's why I say it. it's underutilized. People overlook it. Yeah, right. And um, my boss really does, you know, look down if I'm posting on right? social media. Yeah, but so LinkedIn, get away right? Yeah. yeah, like those were two of the most. Like I was like, wow. Oh. Because with LinkedIn, yeah. you can be in front of people during the workday. Right. But yeah. With Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, right? you can be with everyone else the rest of the day, right? right? Be where your customers are, right? wherever that is. I thought, those, I just really, those were two points yeah. that we mentioned earlier that I thought was just like, oh my God, I never thought yeah. of it that way. <laughs> um, now we've all seen the posts, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've scrolled endlessly through the, what I kind of just call the corporate posts. Right. Okay, so it's all about, oh my gosh, we came out with the XYZ mm-hmm. for the TDK mm-hmm. of the Z's website. And we're so excited, mm-hmm. right? And I'm thinking, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, next. So, next, right? Yeah. So how do we kind of avoid that? Because I don't think yeah. anyone really gets excited about that, except maybe yeah. that person posting, and I'm not even certain that they're all that excited well, about it. Well, I mean, you curate your own feed. So if you don't like what you're seeing, unfollow them. Um, that's the other thing about LinkedIn is it's not – really caught up to how Instagram and Facebook is because Instagram and Facebook are one one beast now. They're owned right. in one place. Yes. So LinkedIn is a little bit of a step behind. So you don't have as many sponsored posts between your other posts. So you really can curate your own feed now, which means find the people you want to connect with. Connect with more people that are in your industry. I, I think a lot of people, when you, we've talked about this, is that you get caught up in thinking, oh, if you're a real estate agent, I don't want to have a billion loan officers in my connections because I don't want to make anyone feel bad or whatever their rules are. But the more you connect with, the more your reach is. Because that's how LinkedIn functions. It functions in connections. Imagine a circle. That's your first connection. Then another circle, that's a second connection. So if someone in your second connection sees you, like if you were my connection, right? We're mm-hmm. one. This is a one degree, right? Susie in your office is a second degree. Mm-hmm. If she like, if you you like my post that I right. shared, yeah, and she sees that because now it's on her feed. Well, what if Susie likes your the post that you liked? Well, then her connection could see it. So now you've grown your reach mm-hmm. beyond what you could have reached before. Right. So you know, curate your own feed. You're in control of what you see, right? And then build with people that you want to build around. Now, what suggestions do you have as far as because I know you work with a lot of realtors. Mm-hmm. And I know you work on them really reaching those communities. Right. So what kind of posts do you suggest? That's a great they... question. Okay. Um, what I would recommend is, um, so anytime I sit down with a, a future or potential client, we go through kind of what makes them them, right? Because in real estate, you are your business. You are your brand. So what makes you different, right? Like why would someone want to work with you over another agent? There's how many agents in this city? <laughs> A lot. Um, There's more tens than a of thousands. Dozen, right? Yeah. So really what you want to sit down is maybe make a list of what makes you different from the rest. And then, then you go through that and you authentically, right? Don't force your post. Authentically share what makes you different, whether it's your niche, right? I have some clients that really specialize in downsizing. So they share valuable posts, videos, any type of graphics, whatever. They share posts on what sets them apart. But that's what you want to do. How do you differentiate yourself from the rest of them in your industry? Because mm-hmm. otherwise, your rest, your posts are just going to be fluff, right? Like we were saying, right. you don't need to keep sharing that you're the top 25%. Like, that's great. We all, like, sure, that's great to see you're producing. But what, why would someone want to work with you? Right. What do you do for fun? What's your personality like? Right. That's where you're going to connect with your client. Right. Yeah, got that. Right. Um, I think we talked about that being some of the posts you want to avoid. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. The number one thing I recommend to realtors, any client that I have, is stop selling to sell. You know, like sell without selling. I have so many people that come to me and they're like, wait, we just finished this video. I really feel like we should do a call to action. You can do it sometimes. But stop selling in every single post because people are not dumb. They can see through that. And like you and I were talking about earlier is you want to be authentic with people. And if you really want their referrals, stop asking for it because if they're really happy with you, they're going to give you referrals. Mm -hmm. So stop selling. Stop trying to, you know, just squeeze money out of people. Like break that stereotype of realtors. Right. right? Be authentic. Mm -hmm. Don't sell. If you sell, I'm just scrolling right past it. Right? Yes. You're wasting your time and my time. 
Correct. Yes. So um, we were um, talking a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. and I know you had mentioned this, but you had talked about uh, not only is this a time for you to really be able to, is it business, business acceptable social mm -hmm. media? Um, you also mentioned that this is the time for you to really kind of separate yourself from some of the others. Mm -hmm. And I think you touched on, um, you know, really kind of stressing what makes you, because you're your right. business, right. right? Can you expound a little bit? I thought you had some great ideas yeah. before on yeah. how people can do that. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, LinkedIn is a connection-based platform. It's not like the others. And that's why it's probably a little scary to some people. I don't know how to use this. I don't know what to post. Do I only post business things? I like to go along the lines of, what do I want people to know about me, right? Like my family, we went to a Rockies game a couple weeks ago, so we shared about that and got a great um, interaction from people that were bantering back and forth about the Dodgers and the Rockies. You know, that's the stuff where now people can see, oh, I have a family, I have a child, right. as opposed to what's business, business, business. So I would recommend diving into what you do outside of just business. So I've talked about business, sharing business posts, whether it's downsizing or what's it like to build a home or first time home buyer advice. Those are things that are really great that still add value, but like kind of sprinkle a lot in, I like to do like a, it doesn't have to be a percentage. Sometimes it's an 80, 20, right? Like 80% business, 20% personal, but you can sprinkle in, like there's no rules. Mm -hmm. Stop putting yourself restricted in your rules and just I, choose what you want to share maybe what you do is you share what you want to see, right? Because if you're tired of seeing tons of selling posts, then do the opposite. Do what you want to see. That's what I would recommend. And that's what I thought was so interesting because I think we've been told for so long, don't do any personal posts right. on LinkedIn. Yeah. Yet the ones that I, you really made me think yeah. because the ones that I react to mm -hmm. are the ones where a client, you know, not necessarily clients, but just yeah. individuals post, hey, I just bought a house for me and the two kids mm -hmm. and we're creating this or whatever. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I respond. Congratulations. Yeah. You know, me are, are those, those are the, not the ones where I made president's award. Right. Like that's great. You get, maybe get a thumb up. Yeah. I don't really actually right. respond, but the ones that talk about how they did something. Yeah. Like share your that client's meant. story. Right. I mean, um, Zach just sold a home to this amazing couple that immigrated from Sudan and told their story. And it was right. just so powerful. They bought their first house. Right. Yes. That's the stuff that people want to see. Yes. People buy from people. And that's always been true. And that will always be true. Yes. Yes. I think that was, um, that resonated a lot with yes. me. So I really appreciated that. Nice. Like, yeah. And I did like your Rockies post. Oh. I really did. <laughs> I, um, I saw it and I was going to give it a comment and then I thought, well, you know, maybe I should. Well, I did, want the, I did want the Dodgers to win. So <laughs> they did. They lost well, and then they won. Yes. Well, as a Giants fan, it was a little hard for me to go for it. Just okay. kind of, you know. Okay. So I said, well, let's not get snarky. This is going to be a guess. Let's go with it. So okay. I tried not to. Oh, and we've just been given our two minute warning. So, okay. all right, sticking to the theme here. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, what, um, either personal or professional, what is some of the best advice? that you've been given that you'd like to share with our listeners? About LinkedIn? About anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think what ties into it is, so I've, I help people with social media, help them overhaul their page and really customize it to what they need, right? How they can grow their business. And the first thing I say to them is be everywhere because if you're everywhere, then you'll be where your client, potential client, customer, whatever your businesses will be. So that's why I say LinkedIn is, a special, is, is especially useful because maybe people aren't using it. And so be on LinkedIn, be on Facebook, be on Instagram, and the, the make it easy on yourself. We were talking about this. If what you post on Facebook, you feel like it is valuable, post it on LinkedIn. Stop making things harder on yourself than you have to be. Like I said, there are no rules. Make your own rules. And if something doesn't work, this is my best advice that I've used for myself. If you do something and you share something and you've done it for a little bit, it doesn't work, try something different. There are no rules. No one's going to get mad at you. You're not going to get in trouble. Try something else. If it doesn't work, try something else. Try something else. I love Don't that. give up. Don't give up. Right. Don't give up on social media. Right. Really. So that one post I did nine months ago, probably shouldn't give See, up on yeah, that. See, yeah, don't That's, give up. Yep. Fair enough. Good advice. <laughs> All right. So if one of our listeners wants to reach out to you, wants to... 
Uh, connect, obviously. They can find you on LinkedIn. I'm yep. going to throw that right yep. out there. You can find me personally or you can find our business. All right. But if you want to reach out to you, maybe chat about your services yeah. or just ask you for some advice. What is probably the best way to do that? So we're on every platform. It's at New Hue Visual Pros, N-E-W-H-E-W. You can search our hashtag, hashtag New Hue, hashtag New Hue Visual Pros. You can text me or call me. My number is 573-239-3317. Okay. And yeah, any, any questions, I'm here to help. Okay. Thank you for once again joining us for Coach on the Clock. We'll see you next week for another episode.